On today's video, we're gonna do a salted caramel latte. I typically just order caramel lattes at Starbucks, but I only have salted caramel syrup, so we're gonna do a salted caramel latte. I think they have that stuff at Starbucks. If not, either way, I think this is better than Starbucks. Trust me, when you make it at home, it just, it just hits different. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started with this video. This is gonna be using my Virtuo machine, but if you guys do have the original line, you can still follow along. For my latte, I'm gonna use the Double Espresso Scuro. I've been really favoring this one over Bianco Leggero, but if you like Bianco Leggero, honestly, you can just do this recipe with your favorite pod. But these two are one of my favorite ones. We're doing this one today. And then if you have the original line, then if you want a Bianco Leggero style, you will need two shots of the Chiaro pad. And then if you want something more like double espresso Chiaro, so confusing, <laughs> then you would need two shots of the Scuro pad. So these will kind of be similar to these pods right here. But I just didn't want to leave you guys hanging if you guys do have the original line. I do these all the time and they are they are the same in my opinion so let's get started okay so i'm putting in my double espresso chiaro pod into the machine moving up my plate a little higher just so that there is no splatter when the coffee is brewing and then i'm using this little like wooden glass espresso pourer so that we can just throw in all the ingredients into the cup rather than the coffee just sitting in the ice waiting for the milk. I'm using about a half a cup of the A2 whole milk, but you can use whatever milk you have. I've used almond milk, I've used oat milk, and they are all really tasty. Pour that milk into your frother and then long press the button so that you get a cold froth. Nobody wants a hot froth on iced coffee. I'm taking Torani's caramel sauce and just kind of drizzling it all over the cup. adding a little bit of ice or a lot of bit of ice <laughs> and then we're gonna pour in the milk this milk since it's whole milk i feel like it froths really nice but almond milk gives you a really nice froth as well just pour all of your milk over the ice and then last but not least look at this the coffee i love looking at this i could watch this all day i forgot to show a picture of the bottle but this is just the monin salted caramel i'm using about a tablespoon of this and that is it all right guys how simple was that here it is and all of its glory it looks so yummy this cup it makes the iced coffee look so so good so yummy i think it's mainly because of like the little like diamond edges it's all about presentation and experience and i mean this is why i used to go to coffee shops i don't go to them as much but man oh man i don't miss it <laughs> all right i'm gonna taste it bliss pure bliss if caramel is your thing like it is for me and you love lattes try this recipe it's so classic very simple but still very very delicious and i think it satisfies your caffeine sweet tooth so hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little recipe if you guys have other recipes that you guys would like me to try out leave them in the comment section and like always follow me on instagram if you guys want to see me play around with different pads and combos i just did a cookies and cream latte over on my instagram and it was so so delicious i might just upload that little short video on my channel maybe tomorrow i'll do that for you guys because i can upload because apparently youtube wants to be like tiktok now so we can upload like little shorts that's what they call them so i'll probably do that for you guys tomorrow so you guys can see a quick little recipe but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching i'm gonna go enjoy my delicious latte in this hot hot weather it's 80 degrees out here and it usually never happens in the midwest and it's supposed to be like 90 degrees for a few days now so yeah hopefully you guys are enjoying your day and i'll see you guys next time bye mm.